so today we're filming in my room again so i want to just get right into this video because a lot of my talking like favorites or hits and misses are so chatty so if you like monthly favorites videos then definitely give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it the first thing that i want to mention is this guy the revolution rachel leary collaboration i could not think of that word this is the goddess on the go she did two palettes with them this is just going to be a quick mention i did use it today on my face and i love it i've mentioned this before in other videos i just want to mention it again now because it is so good i still love it and this one specifically isn't available at ulta anymore i think it's kind of going to go away but it is on sale this is originally 15 and it's on sale for 10 dollars right now at revolution.com so i love this i have it on my eye today and my face I mean look at that highlight so ooh, this is a I'm also filming with daylight so it's gonna come and go sorry about that but yeah look at that still looks good and that gold on the lid to die so yes this is super good and it's on sale right now on Revolution if you want to pick it up and the big palette is still available at Ulta. I don't think anybody is surprised about this one. I am totally in love with this Girl Scout palette from Cara Beauty. It is so good. It is so good. I just did a video. I will link it down below and put it in the eye. It's just... Mm, this is a delicious, beautiful, gorgeous palette and they have a pinky purple one as well and a warm orangey brownie yellow one which I really really want but this one's really great too and I'm not somebody who normally dabbles in color that often but this makes me want to do a blue smoky eye every single day so it is super good super creamy super pigmented blendable the glitters in here are absolutely insanely amazing along with these shimmers so there's three shimmers and um three glitters and the rest are matte and they are all amazing you need it in your life $15 carabeauty.com it's more of like a indie brand like they're only sold at their own website but it is totally worth it another thing i want to mention i know it's messed up about on my wrist right now i really messed up my hands this time but i'm normally really good at it but this is the fake tan i have on right now i'll show you a before and after because i have pictures this is the tanned af Darkest one hour self tanning mousse from B Tan. I love this stuff. I use St. Marie's for so long and I've tried so many different, more expensive, less expensive, different types like sprays, creams, mousses, lotions, all of those things. I love this. I love this. This you can get right down the street at Walmart. You can also order it online, but I think it's actually cheaper to just find it at Walmart. Even in my tiny little rinky dink town, I was able to find this one and another one from the same brand at Walmart. I don't like that. I got like the tan for a B tan forever or something, and it's good, but I like this one more to be honest. I like the color of it more. It's very brown. It looks darker down here because I already had a farmer's tan and then I put tan on my whole body, but it just looks so good. It looks really natural, at least on my skin. It is not too orange, not too green. I will say when you pump it out, it looks a little bit green, but it doesn't look green. And honestly, you're going to put this on and the color guard doesn't look very dark, but the tan itself, the tan that it gives you is darker than the color guard, which I actually like. I like when the color guard isn't too intense because it doesn't get on stuff and like this one doesn't transfer at all. I've had this on for four days now and it's looking really good it's not looking patchy at all like look at that mm, just really smooth just yeah really really great and again i've had it on for four days i only ever expect tan to last for four to five days because i have super dry skin and actually this didn't dry my skin out which some can uh fake tan really does dry your skin out so i really like this oh and the smell it doesn't really smell that bad it smells you know like every other fig tan honestly but it doesn't smell strong like like on me i can't smell it now it's cruelty free and it doesn't have all these gross little things in it it's vegan and uh, it's natural dha which i like which i think contributes to it not smelling that bad once you like rinse it off really good awesome get it at walmart it's great i've had these for a long time these are nothing new but i have since rediscovered them in my collection it's the 
cream gel liners from ColourPop. And I just, I, these are the two colors that I just happen to have. I have the shade Get Paid in my waterline right now. And it is this shimmering nude. Okay, let me make a thicker line. It's a shimmering nude and I really like it. Normally, I am the person who puts a cream liner on my waterline just to kind of open me up, wake me up. But since this has shimmer to it, it's not as bright as like the color of it isn't as bright as some of the other nude liners I have but the shimmer to it still brings some life to my eyes which I really like and then this is a really pretty burgundy Ooh, what did I do there we go and then this is the shade joyride which is this super pretty burgundy color I love that obviously like pair this with a warm smoky eye and like smudge it out oof it's delicious and I'm not really a liner person but I love the formula of these so much that it's making me a liner person on to the next I'm trying not to ramble you guys I think I'm doing good so far so this the earth mama nipple butter I don't use this I obviously got this look how much I've used up you really don't, I mean, I feel like I've made a pretty good dent in this and you really don't need a lot. I obviously got this when I gave birth to Jax. I got this actually as a gift from somebody and he never nursed. My milk never came in. So I have a bunch of nipple butters laying around and I didn't know how to use them. But let me tell you, this is the best lip balm I've ever used. Okay, and he was born in the winter, so my lips were super dry for that reason. And then now we have to wear masks everywhere we go. And my lips rubbing on the mask has dried them out severely. And I feel like I don't even leave my house that often, so I can't imagine somebody having to go to work every day with a mask on. I'm sure your face and your lips are feeling it. So if you really need a great lip balm, I love this like I use this all throughout the day and I put it on before bed at night and what I love about it is that it's so thin it doesn't feel like a mask or like goopy Vaseline on your lips but it's so hydrating so hydrating like I wake up in the morning and my lips just feel like mmm like ooh. <laughs> okay um that's okay but yes they feel amazing and I just I really love it it doesn't really have a like a smell to it. It kind of just smells like cocoa butter, but this is very good. I love it as a lip balm. I'm sure if it works that great on my lips, it works fine on your nips too, but I never needed it for that. So my last two mentions are these super cute shoes from Target. So these are some white platform sandals that are super, super cute. They have this like treaded look to the bottom. And these, my friends, are so, I have huge feet, okay, I'm sorry, but these are so comfortable. Literally, the first time that I ever wore these, I walked around a zoo for five hours in the hot, humid heat. And these, my feet never hurt, my legs never hurt, I didn't get a single blister, nothing. These are super, super comfortable and super cute, and I love them so, so much. And then same with these. These are both from the a new day brand at target and i believe they were both around 20 dollars 25 somewhere between 20 and 30. um that's really all i pay for shoes anyway because i'm not i have like no style but i don't like to pay too much for clothes either so anyway but these also super cute the first time i ever wore these these were both i got these both for my dallas trip in july so it was super freaking hot and humid and i was walking around and then the first time i wore these it was at a wedding and i was dancing i was walking around part of it was outside it was so freaking hot and again no blisters no i mean like heels kind of always hurt your feet a little bit once you've worn them for like five six hours but like during everything my legs weren't really hurting my feet weren't really hurting like they weren't rubbing anywhere so 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 comfortable and super super cute i paired these with this really pretty pinkish reddish dress and it just looked so boho and cute so if you're looking for kind of more i mean these are both I don't have style. Are these both boho? These are really go with almost, I mean, 
both of these will basically go with anything and that's what i love about them because you can pair this color with almost any dress or skirt or whatever and they don't look too dressy but they don't look too casual so they can go either way and then i paired these with a t-shirt and paper bag waist shorts and i thought that was really cute but i also feel like you could pair these with a dress as well if you're somebody who's really tall and you're self-conscious about it and you don't like wearing heels these only give you a little bit of height but they still look dressy enough to me to wear with shorts to like a night or shorts to wear with a dress to a nice event or if you're a short person and you want some height and you don't like wearing heels again this gives you like a good inch inch and a half maybe two inches because this is kind of platformed up here too so yeah these are just really great and super comfy and i think they're really really versatile but you know you're taking that from somebody who has zero style at all my boyfriend dresses me that's how bad it is that is all you guys i really wanted to keep this one short because i know a lot of my favorites videos are super like blah, 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 like 35 minute videos and i just feel like that's really freaking annoying and way too much to listen to my instagram will be down below plus everything i mentioned will be down there as well and everything that's on my face will be also listed down there if you're curious about anything in particular like this video let me know down below if you liked it or any videos that you want to see if you want to see these in action more if you want to see a fake tan routine i can totally do that so i think that's all i have to say so wherever you are whatever you're doing just have a good one bye